focus of the use case in this recording is release planning. Uh, release planning involves structuring your releases, defining the teams, and managing your release backlog, or also known as backlog grooming. So as we go into Agile Manager, we land, after logging in, we land on our home page. In order to create a new release, you click on the configuration link and move to the release tab. This is a tab that summarizes all of the existing releases that have already been created. In this project, we have three releases. Release 1 went from February 18th to March 22nd. Release 2 is currently in process. It started March 25th and goes till April 26th. And release 3 will start April 27th and go through June 29th. To create a new release, click on Create Release link. Enter the name of the release and supply the dates the release will span across. Many organizations define release timeframes from one, two, three, or four months. It just depends on the organization. Our release, release four, will start June 30th, which is the end of the previous release, and go through two months, through July 31st. As part of the release definition, you can put in the sprint duration. This will automatically create the sprints for you when it creates the release. In our organization, our sprints last every two weeks. When I save my new release, it creates it. And if I move, if I move back up to the tabs, now you can see our release information. And if we move to the sprints tab, Three sprints were automatically created spanning the release time frame, starting from June 30th, going from July 31st. In addition to creating sprints as part of the release setup, we need to go in and set up our team. Clicking on the team link will, get, will send us to the team area where we can add teams by clicking on the Add Team button. Supply the team name and the estimated sprint velocity in points per team. Once you've saved the team, you can go in and add team members. In this release, we are going to be adding teams. We have three members each. Once we've added our releases and the sprints have been created, and we've created teams and assigned members to them, we can move back in to the project, select our new release, and start going through backlog grooming, which is essentially just adding our user stories or assigning our user stories to the release that they're going to be worked on. To assign a user story to a release, we move into the product backlog tab, click on backlog, and you will see a list of all of the user stories within the project. I have a filter specifying that only release two user stories are being displayed. To remove that filter, I can go ahead and select all, and then you will see all user stories. 
User stories that we want to add to our new release are user stories that haven't already been assigned to a release or release one, two, or three. So we can re-add the filter or reapply the filter and select user stories that have no value. Currently, there are no user stories that have not been assigned to a release. So I can add a user story and supply a name. At this point, I can go ahead and assign it a priority and a number of story points. When the, re when the user story is added to the backlog, you can see the status is new and that it has not been assigned to a release. To assign it to a release, I can simply drag and drop the user story to the appropriate release over here in the right. Once that's done, you'll notice the user story disappears due to its release value being assigned to release 4. So now if I clear my filter and I scroll down, you can see our new user story has been assigned to release 4. Thus concludes setting up release management, sprint management, team management, and backlog grooming.